Kirby Bauer assay is a widely used and effective way to test if a bacterium is resistant or sensitive to several antimicrobial compounds simultaneously. You will need the materials listed here to conduct the Kirby Bauer assay. This next list shows the materials available at each station. To begin, label the outside rim of the petri dish on the auger side and label with the organism name, lab section information, and treatment. Next, we're going to use a sterile swab to inoculate the plate. Grab the test tube and remove the cap and gently flame sterilize. Dip the swab into the bacterial broth. Remove from the tube and gently flame sterilize. Recap the tube. Next, pick up the plate and using the swab in a side-to-side -side motion, swab the plate gently. The idea is to create a uniform layer of bacteria. To do this, slightly rotate the plate twice. When the entire surface of the plate has been covered, dispose of the swab in the biohazard container. With a marker, divide the plate into four quadrants. Flame sterilize the forceps and make certain the ethanol has burned off completely and allowed to briefly cool. Pick up a disc carefully and place within one quadrant and tap lightly. Flame sterilize the forceps between placing discs. Again, remove the lid, place the disc, and gently tap. Watch this time-lapse video of Serratia marcescens sensitivity to five antimicrobial compounds. Notice the zones of inhibition around each disc. The diameter of the inhibition zone is a measure of sensitivity to a compound, with greater sensitivity forming larger zones and lower sensitivity forming smaller zones. In summary, the Kirby Bauer assay is a fast and effective way to test potential antimicrobial properties of compounds against a single bacterium. The diameter of the zone of inhibition relates to the sensitivity of a bacterium to a compound, and the assay works by inhibiting growth, not directly killing bacteria.